Hey everybody, welcome to Words of Scripture. Um, today's video. Liberals, people that are woke, commenters on YouTube, idiots, morons, people that are just stupid people that argue just for the sake of argument, which I've been guilty of in the past, still do it occasionally. <laughs> anyway, what brought this video about is, um, if you haven't seen it, I've got a video that um, entitled Atheists, or my explanation of why atheism is wrong um, and but anyway well I gotta because of the subject the title people have obviously people being youtuber or people that are watching YouTube obviously found it on a search because the people that commented aren't people that are normally watching my videos um, but anyway, that triggered them to go watch my video, which is cool, man, I, I like it. Um, I like that people watched, I like that people commented, but these people, I had to delete these comments, so if you go there and look, they're gone. The reason I deleted these comments, I got two of them so far, both basically said the same thing, um, is they have no concept of the truth, God's word, they are supporting their atheism as a valid way of thinking and why it, it's true and, and it, it doesn't matter what you believe, what matters is the truth. God's word is the truth. And I have since posted, since I got those um, comments. I have redone the title and definition, or not definition, the description of the title or the, the video to better support where I was coming from and to let those, those people know that I don't, I don't really don't care what they think. I already know the truth. And they're posting their their opinions without providing scriptural evidence that proves what I said was wrong. Then, um, if they try to do that, their their comments are just going to be deleted. Basically, uh, it's my channel. I can say who can and can't comment or I can approve or disapprove whatever comments I don't I welcome any rebuttals that include scripture to, to back up if you're saying I'm wrong about something as far as well I mean this was atheism so this one if, if you're trying to prove that God doesn't exist you're, you're on the wrong you're the wrong place um, but so I, I expect I expect any kind of rebuttal on anything that has to do with God you have to come you have to prove your point with scripture that's why that's the whole thing where's the scripture where is how am I getting it wrong prove me wrong with God's word I don't know how else to say that. Um, I might not have done it well, but you get the point. Um, now, as far as other other um, subjects, other topics that aren't about God, because I've done a lot of those recently. They're about government. They're about rights. They're about... 
how people are misled, um, whatever. Yeah, I don't expect scripture on that, but if you're going to dispute, um, and say that mask dispute me and say that masks work, you better provide some proof, and that proof is going to be proven wrong. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, um, but yeah. What I'm saying is, I, I want, I very much welcome criticism, um, counter arguments, but they have to be rooted in the truth. They can't just be your opinion. Um, you have to prove me wrong with facts in Scripture. Just because you don't want something to be a certain way, or you've got your head buried in the sand, and all you listen to is uh, the mainstream media and fake book and uh, Twitter and all that crap, doesn't make it right. It makes you a sheep. An ill-informed, Ill blind follower, instead of somebody that knows the truth. Anyway, God bless you. See you next time.